Salesian school, I know exactly what you're thinking. Must be rag day because that black priest is here again asking for more money for his kids at Don Bosco Ashalayam. And you'd be right, you're very wise, that's why you go to Salesian school. I thought this year, instead of giving you the same old details that I give every year because you're very familiar with it, I tell you just a little bit in terms of an update. So no kind of music videos, no ABBA. I told them no ABBA, get them off the screen. Um, anyway, update. I went out in February with a few students from the school I'm teaching at at the moment, uh, St. John Bosco College, and I met some of the kids that we have supported over the years. There's one young man who's been flown to America. He's worked incredibly hard, uh, supported by the money that we send out, and he was spotted by a company and sent out for further training to America and is now back in India and is going on for further studies, which is wonderful, wonderful news. There's another young man who was sponsored by a lady um, not too far from Chertsey, and he was spotted by Bollywood. They were looking for some children, some street children, or ex-street children, who they could use in a Bollywood film to do with rugby. And he was one of 500 um, who was chosen, or they had 500, and they whittled it down to 13, and they chose him. And he was telling me when he came to London for filming, how great does that sound? Uh, he said to me that he was chosen because he was confident in front of the camera. And he said he learned that at Don Bosco Ashalayam because he said as well as, as education, the priests encouraged them to get involved in drama, in music, and performing on stage uh, when they can to visitors who go there. And that was a wonderful, wonderful uh, story, and we were very privileged to be able to introduce him to his sponsor here. It was really a dream come true. And then the other side of the coin is when we went there, there's a young man, again, who's sponsored by someone from here, in fact from a family from your school and um, he was very very bright and one of the few students who decided to go on and study um, accountancy because he had a really good brain on him and very sadly I heard this February when I went there that um, you know at rush hour people will just hang off the trains in India so many people over there you cannot begin to imagine it and as they were pulling into the main station at Calcutta, he fell off the train and they called for an ambulance. But, you know, at rush hour, it takes quite some time for the ambulance to get there. But the um, home help um, who looks after his home managed to get there. And very sadly, this young lad who's in his early 20s died in the arms of um, his home help. And there's no, um, there's no happy ending, really, uh, to that story. And there's another, um, and another account, again, a very sad story, a young lad that I um, taught English to when I was out there on my sabbatical. He must be about 17 or 18 now. And um, the Yashalayam had managed to locate his family, send him home to his mother and sister. And he contacted me a few months ago to say, quite unexpectedly, his mother was walking home from her part-time work, his real menial work, and she was hit by a vehicle and was killed. And he said it's just him and his sister, so the Ashalayama are looking after them financially and making sure that he gets his education. These are ordinary kids with ordinary stories with, um, you know, the usual tragedies that we hear about in the news that you experience yourselves, and with obviously the joys and the highs and lows of everyday life. But they don't have the stability that many of you have. They don't have the financial backing in terms of just money coming in to um, support them. And that's where Don Bosco Ashalayam comes in. Through the money that we raise, they give them the education, they give them the start in life, they give them a roof over their heads, they give them some kind of normality in their lives. So for all you do, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as, as I've said in other videos, you know, at the end of our lives, 
The Lord hasn't got a tick box for us. He will ask, what did you do for me when I was hungry? What did you do for me when I was thirsty? What did you do for me when I was a stranger? Be able to say, well, Lord, I gave you food. I gave you drink. I gave you a foundation for life through what I did for these kids on rag day. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much.